What's up, guys? My name is Marcus Huskins, and thank you for joining me. As always, if you're finding this content useful, please go ahead, do me a favor, and hit that subscribe button, and I really appreciate your support. All right, so moving right along, we're going to be talking about something that hopefully will help out a lot of people. I want to take a moment to talk about the concept of channels and arranger tracks in Studio One. And this might be a little foreign for people moving over from other DAWs, such as me, myself. I worked in Pro Tools for a little over 15 years before I started moving over to Studio One. And there was one area that really kind of confused me. So if we were to go ahead right now in the default setup and I was to create either a bus channel or an effects channel, and I guess even a VCA channel for that matter, you may notice that it has created one in the console where we have access to this channel, but we don't have anything in the arrange window. Now it's worth mentioning that if we did want to have this channel appear in the arrange window, we could simply right click and edit the volume automation. Or another thing that we could do is simply click on one of these faders and click the Option or Alt A. And that would basically give us a track, an automation track, which if we had our console closed, could then be used to select this track. And you notice in the inspector, we have access to the fader, inserts, and all of that. So let's just go ahead and remove these. Now I wanna take a quick moment and talk about another DAW for a moment. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna hop over to Pro Tools. And if I was to go ahead and create a stereo aux track in Pro Tools, you'll notice that it automatically created a channel in the arrange window, or rather it automatically created a track in the arrange window that represents that channel. Now in Pro Tools, they don't use effects channels or bus channels, they just use aux channels and then you can have it behave any way that you want. But the idea here is that if I wanted to do any volume automation, or for example, if I wanted to add any plugin parameter and I wanted to enable the automation and adjust that, then we could do that in the arrange window without having to open up our console. All right, so let's hop back over to Studio One for a moment. Now there's actually a way that we can take care of this. If you would prefer that Studio One behave in that way, so you have that one-to-one -one parity between your range window and your console, if we open up our preferences, we head to Advanced, Automation, take a look at this preference over here. I believe this was added somewhere around 3.2, uh, but don't quote me on that. And this is automatically create automation tracks for channels. Let's go ahead and enable this preference. We'll click Apply and OK. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing again. In fact, I'll give myself a little bit of room over here. I'm gonna right click, let's add a bus channel, let's add an effects channel, and let's add a VCA channel. And in fact, let's position these at the bottom over here. Now you'll notice that when I created each one of these channels, they automatically had an arrange track that was created in the arrange window. So this is essentially a preference that enables you to define the way that you like Studio One to behave. In my case, I really prefer to have access to my bus channels, my effects channels, and any VCAs that I have, because if I wanted to automate these, either by doing simple volume automation like this, or let's say that I wanted to automate any given plugin parameter, like for example, a low cut over here, this is something that I could do very easily. And truthfully, I wouldn't even need to have the console open. I could go ahead and I could do this in my main view and I wouldn't have to worry about that preference at all. And then the benefit here is that if we have our inspector open, any channel or rather any track that we select in the arrange window, we will have access to the plugins, any sends, and obviously the fader if we have the inspector open. So once again, if you would like Studio One to behave in a way that it automatically creates an arranger track every time you create an effects return, a VCA, or a bus channel, then you just need to go over to your preferences, head to advanced automation, and make sure you enable this option over here, automatically create automation tracks for channels. So that's all the time I have available for today. I hope you guys found this video useful, especially if you're coming over from other DAWs that work this way natively. If you did enjoy this content, please go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button. Any questions or comments, please leave them below. I will do my very best to get back to you and We'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.